Well, good morning. Uh, we're going to get started. We're trying to wait for uh, the other two board members. Uh, but we'll get started. <laughs> and uh, the first item is any board member having any comments? Uh, before, you, before I allow that uh, to happen, I wanted to bring before the board discussion about the master board training. We uh, were scheduled to have that on October the 11th and the location changed and shifted uh, to a point where we didn't feel it was advantageous for the board and the staff to travel that distance. And so now we're looking at some alternate days and the alternate days did not agree with everybody's calendar. So we're back at square one and there's been some discussion on whether or not we want to wait until 2018 to have the master board training or if we wanted to get a refund back and not do the training at all. And so I, I thought that uh, this would be a good opportunity for the board members to weigh in and give us a sense of what you all would like to do. So does anybody have any comments on it? Yeah. It might not be a bad idea to wait to 2018 if we're going to have a difficulty in scheduling it for everybody. Okay, so would that be 2018, the front end of 2018, or if someone had suggested waiting until after the elections? That worked too. I, it, okay. Ms. I'm fine. I'm fine with whatever, either way, whatever okay. works best for the board. Mr. Townsend? I, I like the idea of waiting until that after the election. That's, that's, that's fine with me. Mr. Wilson, are you okay with that? No, fine. Okay, I know Ms. Jackie is as well. All right, so then we will go back to FSBA and let them know that uh, we want to wait until after 2018's election and then see if they give us a refund or exactly what we'll have to do to, to rectify that. And I think that we're still trying to reschedule the retreat, the board retreat. Uh, and that should be coming before you all very soon with some possible dates uh, because we know the value and the importance of getting that on everybody's calendar. Um, Mr. Townsend, you got something? I do. Um, I have written, um, now that the first Tenorock report is, is public, I have written a very, very long and de de detailed piece. Um, I can't make any of you read it. Uh, I would hope that you, that you would. There's been a lot of time and effort put into it. Um, I think it's an incredibly important, far-reaching issue that I have only begun to talk about. I'm gonna be talking about this in an ongoing way. Um, I have some questions related to it. The first is, what is Jason Looney's status right now? Um, do, we con do we envision that he will continue to be the principal of Tenor Rock High through the end of the year? Uh, through next year, what what is his status? His status now he's the principal of Ten Rock for as long as he wants to remain there. Well, he's you know we, right now he is the he is the principal. Looking at um, the information and lining up the allegations and the evidence against school board policy right now, from the investigation, it was everything was unfounded. So he's the principal of Ten Rock right now. Yes, sir. Actually, it wasn't unfounded, it was unsubstantiated. Mm -hmm. um, I have some questions about that. Uh, the investigation actually says this, and let's, I mean, we can go ahead and get all, all this out now. The, the woman who filed the complaint, her name is Brandy Garcia Blanchard. Her career and life is ruined. Um, I'm interested in this piece from the in investigation that says, Mr. Lo Looney stated that throughout the school year 2016 and 17, he had concerns about Ms. Blanchard's performance. He stated that he talked about the concerns throughout the year with his regional assistant superintendent, attendant, Tammy Daw Dawson, regional assist assistant superintendent, Tony Bell Bellamy, and school board, school board member, Tim Harris. I want to know, is that true, Tim? Did he talk to you about his concerns with her performance before he fired her? I don't recall that, no. Okay, so the investigation is inaccurate when it says that. I haven't read the investigation. It hasn't been presented to the board. I just read it to you. I, the, the, the investigation, as you know, has not been presented to the board, so I have not, I'm not 
privy to it. You must be privy to something the board's not privy to. It was made pu public yes yesterday. So so that just just to clar clarify, you had no discussions with 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 Looney prior to her fire hiring. I don't recall. I don't know can, it matters, can I can I ask you what part of your role? Excuse is me, in? excuse me. First yes. of all, I'm 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 the chair right now, just for this minute, and I want to know from Mr. Bridges if this is appropriate because it seems to me like Mr. Townsend, you are cross-examining Mr. Harris, and I don't think this is the venue for that. I really don't. But Mr. Bridges need to help me understand, help all of us understand, is this a venue for this discussion? Madam Chair, you own the meeting and have the ability to d determine what is in order and what is not. It's certainly not a matter on the agenda today. To my knowledge, it is not currently a matter concerning which the superintendent has brought a recommendation to the school board. Uh, the board, board members typically have a, a venue, a work session to talk about things that are on their minds and on their hearts. Uh, but if, if, if this is not the time or the place, as the chair, you, you are able to set the, the agenda and determine what is to be discussed at the meeting. Mr. Townsend, I yes. respect, let me, let, me, let me have my comments, please. I respect your uh, ability to have your thoughts and your comments. I don't, I don't think that it's appropriate for you to be cross-examining any of the board members. I really don't. And so if you want to have comments about the investigation, I think everybody knows what you think. But if you want to have comments about the investigation, have at it. But I'm not going to I'm not going to allow you to be back and forth with Mr. Harris because we're not going to get anywhere. And I didn't come to Bartow this morning for this. I came here to go to the agenda and to make whatever decisions if any we need to make today and then go and do what we need to do for the betterment of our students. And I think and hopefully everybody at this table came with the same intent. Yes. The questions of ven, ven, venue come up. Tim Harris went to Tinnerock High School while the investigation was still open. He lectured the captive faculty at Tinnerock High School about how to vote, about his support for, 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 for Looney. I have the tra tra transcript. He made representations about the superintendent's position, which she has not clarified. Uh, those questions of venue are pretty important. If, seeing as how we are all subject to the Sunshine Law, and I can't have this discussion with Tim in private uh, because that would break, break that law, this is the only place to have it. I want to know what part of Tim's role he thought he was fulfilling by going and lecturing our employees at a school in front of a principal under investigation for sexual harassment on how they should vote. And Mr. Harris, do you want to respond to that? I'll respond once and this in this interview is over if you will. Yes, sir. I did not request a meeting of the faculty or Miss Bird and myself to attend. There was not a faculty meeting called for us to speak. We spoke, or I did because she was unavailable, at the end of his faculty meeting. I made that very clear when I spoke to him that this was just an opportunity for us to address the faculty to show support, not to call a special meeting in any way. At that time, this board had not been made aware that there was any ongoing investigation. For you to imply that I was aware of an investigation for which you had background knowledge because you were a Facebook friend of the person in question is incorrect. You can have your opinion and I'll have yours, but she's the one that makes decisions on staff not the seven of us. Tim, on July 10th, you sent an email asking why Brandy Bland Blanchard came to me and not and not you. Correct. Because that was a that school. That was weeks was, ago. And that was a school in this district that I was elected from. I wanted to know if there was something that I should be aware of. And that person did not come to me, they came to you. And there was no referral to me so that I would be aware of it. 
what part of your role allows you to tell people how to vote that are our employees? How to vote? How do you characterize that? You said you, you gave characteristics of the type of person people should vote for. You talked about how you should vote at tell that me. meeting to tell our me. captain, tell to our captive em, em, employees. Captive? Yes, they were sitting there. They couldn't leave. Oh, yeah, they were free to leave if uh, they did not want to speak to me afterwards, and plenty of them did at, at the point. No, no, not while you were speaking. Plenty of the people had to leave for other meetings, and they were not available to finish up the meeting. But that's, I don't know. Give me specifics. You said you should never vote for someone who doesn't have uh, major board experience or some sort of nonprofit board experience. Certainly I will. You said that to a captive that group. That is certainly something in my experience that is beneficial to someone who gets elected to public office. Right. And what right do you have to say that at a school to our employees who cannot leave? Board members speak at board at uh, school functions, so that's not unusual. Okay. So, okay. I'm not I, sure I, what I think your point is. I think. I th well, I think the pub the public can decide what the point is. Um. I'm done. Well, no, no, I'm not. I, I have one. I have one other thing. This bird, Tim said specifically that you would have said that you would have gone there and, and given your support for Looney while the investigation was on, ongoing. He said that specifically at the meeting. Is, is that true? I support all of our employees, Mr. Townsend, just as I know the seven of you do. All of our employees we support. Yeah, that's not an answer. Okay. You, 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 it was it was in it was in specific I, relation to the investigators. I was not at the meeting, but I support all of our employees. Okay. okay. All right, Jane.